Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, if you're out there, I think we've pretty much already established that uh, millennials, not my crowd. I thought I could do it. I thought I was telling myself a story, a little story like, uh, you're hip enough, you're cool enough, you can relate to those, to the kids of today, they'll get you. I'm not sure that's true. So, uh, oh, I need to uh, turn on the ability to see your comments because I'm not doing it, of course, the traditional way uh, because we're doing uh, something different right now, which, of course, is aptacular. That's why we did the different music. Oh, and I had a little echo just for some jazz. But we're not really going to um, have that echo there the whole time. So today we're going to be, uh, well, first of all, I should show you that there is a dog in the studio right here. That's Cody. And uh, he's overseeing things, you know, make sure we don't get out of hand, stay on track. Okay. Now, so far I haven't seen any comments up here. So either something's wrong technically or you haven't said anything like, Hi, Bob. I'm very anxious to see the demo of this program you've been talking about. My name is so-and-so. It's nice to meet you. And I'm leaving a comment. Now, of course, I'm going to be very embarrassed if you've been leaving comments the whole time, and I'm just, again, not technically able to see them. I am refreshing. Actually, I, I haven't even looked to see if anybody's watching because I'm not even looking at the feed. You know what? I'm just going to get into it. Oh, there we go. We got a high Bob from someone whose name and photo didn't show up. So we got... This is all a test for me. It's a divine, universal test about staying on track and just doing it. So let's do it, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen... Today we are talking about an app that I previewed a little bit this morning on The Bob Doyle Show. And if you don't know what that is, but it's something that happens every Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. Pacific time, right here on this channel. Whatever channel you're watching this on, however you're watching this, it's here. Okay, so, so uh, and every now and then, every now and again, and then, every so often, from time to time, I like to share apps that I think are super cool. And if you watch my timeline at all, if you're following my Inst if you're if you're following my Instagram, which if you don't, it's Bob Doyle Uke. So let's get that let's get that settled because that's a source of nonstop entertainment. And that is where I put a lot of these uh where I output a lot of these things, like the Werbel app that we looked at last week. Remember that? Good times, right? Well, this week we're gonna look at Mug Life. And as soon as I can click a button, this is what it looks like once it's loaded up. Now, this is another program. I love bringing images to life. I've been doing it for as long as technology has let me do it with a variety of technologies, both PC and phone-based. This has got to be one of the most unique ones. And you can just look at the, at the images here and see that it is pretty unique. So I'm going to do a deep dive in here. There's a lot the reason that I do these afternoon ones is that I'm going to just take my time. And if you're bored, well, you know what? Get an attention span. So the idea, basically, this is around faces. Okay, It's about making faces move, appear to talk. There's no audio involved with this, but making faces appear to talk and move and stick tongues out and roll your eyes around just based on a still image. And just at its simplest form, now the, what we're seeing here is, is some examples of under the featured section because when you post things publicly they can be featured or whatever or they can trend or you can become a top mugger which I'm not yet and I don't know why and uh, and then you can also see your following and then the mugs that you do they call them mugs and we're gonna be looking at all of these things so just hold your horses just be patient we got plenty of time and you're not leaving comments anyway all right let me just start up here in the upper <clears throat> left hand corner and choose this one here here we see our good friend Keanu Reeves, probably being uh, John Wick right now. That's just a guess. I didn't see that movie because if you know how it begins, you'd know I'd never see that movie. So, uh, but this is clearly based on a still picture of him. Now, again, at its simplest form, if I wanted to put myself in there, I could just click the upper, upper left-hand corner here of photo and choose from import and use camera. And you can see it built a wireframe on me right now. Now, it, the glasses may throw it off a little, but it'll still, it'll still work, you'll see. Now, in just taking that picture, it already just does it. 
right? It just brings it to life. It knows where the eyes are. It knows where the mouth is. <clears throat> and you can fine tune all of this. And I will show you that because that's, again, why I'm doing this, is to show you the finer things. And this probably could use a little fine tuning, but we'll do that later. So now along the bottom here, you see some examples. You see some other images moving. And these are things that other people have done. And if you want to use the animation on any of these on the image you've got loaded up here, all you do is click it. So if I click that Conan O'Brien one that's called Crazy, right? You can see that the animation automatically takes over and it's crazy. And I'll just keep clicking some of these. Now these words that are up here, you can take off, you can time, you can do all sorts of things. Let me show you all of that. Okay. And, and all of these things you can program yourself, but there's also this huge online community of people who have done these things and you can just kind of steal them really and put them on your own images. So aside from the ones that they have down here at the bottom, you can also click on more and now you can get back into the featured section, the trending section, the top muggers, uh, who you're following. And apparently it's showing a lot of, I must be following myself because as you can see, there's a lot of pictures of me there. But if you see those pictures of the black and white there, right, kind of down in right uh, here, all those obviously from the same image. So why don't I just uh, choose one of those, see, and then that, that animation is there. Now, if I wanted to change the picture out, Okay, you found an animation and now you want to change the picture. There are several ways you can do that. So one way is if from this screen here, this is the, kind of the main screen where you're looking at the animations, you could just click on photo up here again in the upper left hand corner. You could again take your own picture or you could go to your camera roll and just choose another picture with a face and the animation just takes right on over. See what I'm saying there? And then there's uh, another more complicated way, which I'll go ahead and show you, but, I'm, but we're going to jump ahead into the controls, is that you can actually copy an animation from one image and paste it to another. So let's say I liked this animation. I'm going to click on the Create icon in the lower left-hand corner. And now you see there's a little, a barely visible square around my face, and then there's a wrench up in the upper right-hand corner of that. If I click on that, I get the option to Copy Animation. Okay, so I just click on Copy Animation. Now I can go back to this main screen here. I'm going to go ahead and discard that because I'm not really saving this. Go to this main screen, maybe go to Featured, and let's say I, I like one of these base images. Let me actually go to Top Muggers and see if we can find something kind of cool. Dig into, this guy has several. Let's just find like, okay, here's a nice creepy one, right? So now if I want to take that previous animation and put it onto this, Okay, I would then again just click the, the yellow create button down at the bottom, click on that wrench again, and this time paste animation. And it just pastes right on. Now I know it's kind of complicated and, and quite frankly it took me a, quite a few days to get all the navigation and how far to back out and when you can discard and when you need to save and it, it does get a little bit complicated because there's so much borrowing that you can do and, there's, and then there's you know so many levels of editing you can do and so on. So let me go back to uh, the main screen, which I'm, I'm clicking basically the back button up on the upper left-hand corner. For some reason, guys, I'm not seeing your pictures. I'm seeing, um, and your name. I'm not seeing who's, let me see if I, I refresh this, if it'll work any better. But for some reason, I'm just, nope, I'm just seeing your comments. So I don't even know who's saying them. I don't know why that is. Um, anyway, we'll just, we'll just get back to it here. Now, I didn't add, if you look up in the upper left, I actually went through here a little while ago and tried to delete everybody who I had played with their picture without telling them, but I kind of forgot these two up in the upper left-hand corner. So this is Max Ryan and Melanie Bundock. So I hope they're good sports about this. But what this shows you is that you can actually do multiple, multiple animations in one picture. So it will, again, automatically find these faces. If I just load in the image with multiple people, it will find it and apply the same animation to all three faces. But you can change that by doing the cut and paste method that I talked about before. So, for example, if I wanted Max here to do the animation that I just co copied from the other one, I would just choose his face, click the wrench, say paste animation, and now he's got that animation going, and Melanie and I are still saying yes while he's having some other sort of a problem. See? Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Let me back out of here. So 
Let's uh, let's look at the at the editing a little bit. I'm going to choose. I'm going to kind of start from scratch here, and I'm just going to load a photo from my camera roll. I'm going to go back here to one of these. Uh, which one did I want to choose? Okay, I'm just going to choose this one here. All right. So again, it automatically finds the wireframe, and I'm going to show you how you access the wireframe and you can add faces to things that don't that it wouldn't automatically find but it does a fantastic job if I click on create again and then I click on the wrench and I say fix alignment you'll see all the little points that it automatically finds in the lower right hand mo in the lower right hand corner you'll see where it says point mode and if I click it again it'll say group mode and in group mode I can move the mouth all the way but just by itself or I can move the nose by itself and in uh, point mode then I can move the individual dots and so that's how I would fine-tune to put these dots around uh, my mouth maybe a little bit more or if I felt like this eye could be lined up a little bit more I just choose the dot and then I can actually click anywhere on the screen once I choose the dot and drag it okay so there's a huge amount of you can see that's that's really actually quite way off and so that would affect the quality of any mouth animation there so this is how I would go in and fine-tune it if I wanted it to be a little bit better. Or this is also how you can just add a face onto nothing. I posted one the other day that I'll show you in a second that I added a face to the bottom of a coffee mug just by saying add face and doing this. All right, so now I choose that and then that'll be just a little bit more, uh, a, little, a little bit more accurate. Now let me show you the basic functionality of this thing is how you can record your own animation on a face uh, in, an, in an easy way. Instead of just borrowing everybody else's, like I told you, you just click a, while, while your face is, while the face you want to work on is loaded, you just t click any of the ones from the bottom or go to trending or featured or your own, click those and the animation will, will take over. Now if you want to create your own, that's part of the fun too. So again, when you're from your, from your, uh, when you're on this screen, the lower left hand corner, it says create. Now, if you also notice, when you click on the Create mode, along the bottom, you might be able to see it. It's really light, but there's a little cursor that's going across the screen, just like this. And that's basically showing you the loop. So this is an, it, what it's creating is an animation loop. And every time you make a, a change to your image, it creates basically keyframes in this loop, and you can just keep layering movements. So you would start with maybe a little movement on the, on the mouth and then add, I'll just show you instead of me talking about it. So now I'm going to click inside the square and now you can see various control points on here. So like the middle of my forehead up at the top here, if I uh, click and hold that down and then move my head back and forth, up and down, see I'm creating that animation and when I let go it just plays back whatever it is I just did. Okay, I'm going to click on reset and redo that real quick. All right, and then same like with, with the eyes. Now at the bottom, you'll see there's a, at the very bottom, there's a row of icons, and there's one that's grayed out, and I'm going to click it called Mirror, which means that now whatever I do to, let's say, the left eye, it'll do it to the right eye, right? So if I wanted to blink, I need to do it in Mirror mode. <laughs> now I'm messing with the right eye, so not very natural. But that way I don't have to, or if I, and if I wanted to wink, I would not be in mirror mode and then I could do just one eye. Any questions, anyone? Okay, don't have any questions because this whole comments thing is screwed up. I don't even know who, who if anyone is watching and it's okay. So that's, that's the basic stuff. And then again, uh, these control points around the mouth, right? Depending on which one you click and pull, it creates these, you know, yes, they're kind of creepy movements. <laughs> right so now we've just got this we got layer after layer of all these crazy movements so I'm going to again reset the whole thing by clicking in the lower right hand corner and I want to call your attention to this little smiley face right here if you click that a whole row of sort of predefined animation emoticons shows up I know that the Bob Doyle logo is kind of in the way there I will temporarily cause you to forget what you're watching so for example if I hold down the first one it smiles okay if I hold down the second one it makes the angry face and if I hold down the third one it does laughter and it's recording it the whole time so you can see when I let go it just goes back into the loop and does that and you say well Bob that loops kinda short well let's change that you can make it longer if you want to right next to play down there on the left I mean on the lower left is length 
click on length, just change the the uh, length to let's say eight, and now you got more time to work with. All right, so I'm just randomly clicking these things, and so I don't have to worry about doing any of the keyframe stuff like that. If I just want to bring something to life and do some silly faces, I can just basically automate the whole thing by clicking this little row of emojis. See how neat that is? All right, so let's say I like that. I'm going to click on OK, and I'm going to save it. And I can either save it privately so that nobody sees it in a feed somewhere, or I can share it. And if I share it, I would put tags like tongue or goofy or whatever. But right for, an act, for right now, I'm just going to say private and s click on save. Once it does that, now I can export this in a number of ways to a number of places. And this is actually a really cool part, which is why I'm showing you this. What I do is I go to camera roll, and I first I export it as an animated GIF file. And it takes a few minutes for it to render, but once it does, that's something that you can then paste into an iMessage or something like that, and it will just automatically be in that loop. Um, it won't, you know, you don't have to play it like a video or whatever. So it's, it's an animated GIF. You guys know what that is. And then you can also export it as a video file, and it'll export, like for in this case, it'll be an eight second video file that will loop. So it's perfect for like a Facebook um, profile. Uh, uh, video, but you don't even have to worry about it that way because if I'm going to click now it's done that I'm going to click on the share button again in the upper right hand corner just to give me this again click on Facebook let it do its thing taking less time this time which is nice okay open Facebook oh I'm so, uh, well I thought what I thought this was going to do and one of the apps does it so egg on my face on this one. But one of them, one of them, which I'll show you eventually, allows you just to go straight to being your uh, video profile. So this is just allowing me to post it, which is cool too, but that's not what I wanted to show you. But we'll just use this as a way to demonstrate how easy it is to, uh, to share these images once you're in there. So let's get back into it a little bit and dig a little bit deeper into this. Okay, so... I've showed you how to how it finds them, and I've showed you basically how you can uh, change the change the the dots around. So let's do something a little bit more advanced, and let's create one out of a dog. If only I had some pictures of a dog. Let's see if I do. <sighs> the odds are not good, you know. Where am I going to get a dog? Oh, here's one right here. All right, so it says no faces found. Well, then how am I supposed to 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 do it? You ask. I've seen pictures of these animals. How, so uh, here's how. So I'm gonna again. I'm gonna click on the magic orange create button, and then down at the lower, not the far right, but over there, add face. Boom. So now we've got this template, and now we just, you know, we we pan the, you know, we we pinch and squeeze and zoom the image around so it's about in the right place. Okay, and then we click on the. Uh, check mark. Now what we want to do is, and this will take a little bit of time, I'm sorry I can't fast motion it, but you know, this is a workshop here, okay? Um, I'm just going to quickly go, I'm going to be in, I'm in point mode, I'm going to arrange these eyebrows where they would be, okay? It doesn't really take a long time, and, and especially I'm on an iPad, so it's a lot, it's a lot easier because the, uh, I've got more room to work with. That's the pupil, so you want to keep that in the center. Just trying to, you know, outline the round of his eyes. This is where I need some music. Some music to keep you occupied. While I am doing this boring stuff, you can still be giddy inside if I had thought of it. But I didn't think of it. No, I did not. And so this is the boring video you've gotten. I don't really know what a good job I'm doing, but we will soon find out. All right, so now I'm going into group mode so I can just bring the whole nose thing down at once and not have to do all that. Now I'll go back into point mode and fine-tune that. And now we got to take this mouth and collapse it around this little dog mouth somehow. And so we got to get kind of creative on exactly, whoops, that's his nose. Okay. And it gets a little tedious when there's a lot of these, but but the nice thing is, is that, uh, you know, if it just doesn't work, it comes out goofy, it's easy enough to change it again. So I'm just bringing all this in and it takes a little bit of time. So it's time for another song, song, time for another song. 
I think if I didn't do it, that'd be wrong, but I'm beginning to think that doing it again was a program, an idea that really stinks. All right, I really can't do that because just I'm trying to trying to concentrate on Cody's mooth. All right. We'll find out if I'm way off here. Okay. Uh, this is the face outlined is okay. Now we go in here. Uh, okay, so now we're kind of seeing a little bit. It's really screwy around his mouth. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll see how screwy it is. I want to go ahead and just, I guess, save this privately for sure. And now uh, mug him, get, get him to do something. Well, you know, you can see it could take a little fine tuning, but you get the idea. So that that's how you would do that. And and also it's important to kind of know that some of these just don't work well on some faces or or some of them look too exaggerated or too cartoonish. Personally, you know, if you look at uh the ones let's see. Whoops, hey, I'm pushing buttons randomly, not really focusing. Some of my favorite ones or more are more subtle. Oh. I meant to actually load the the actual one, but look how sad he makes it look. Because this is called hearing the sad news. But I wanted to actually load the actual. Ugh. See, this is this is the part I'm talking about that I'm still I still feel kind of weird about the navigation. Like how do I how do I get to exactly where I want to go efficiently? But anyway, so so again, just this subtle. I try to make it subtle. So that it's not too cartoony. Now, I, the one thing I haven't showed you yet is the is the text. So let's let's do that. So at its simplest form, again, in the lower right hand corner, once you're in that create mode, you just click on the text. Um, and now and now, once you click on add text, now you can move this around. You can make it big, and of course, you can change what it says. Um, just hearing, okay. And again, change it. But it also can be keyframed. So if you look down here at the bottom, uh, there's a, a, a little, boy, what would you call that? A marker on the left, and then there's a marker on the right. And it's all going along the loop, the animation loop that's going along the bottom. So when the loop hits the, the show, you, can, you may not be able to see, but it says the word show, and then it says the word hide. Well, you'll see. So while it's showing, it's there. Now, this is just a, a simulation of it not being there because we're in edit mode. But then when it hits the on... And you see what I'm saying? So now you can then add another layer. Whoops. Uh, in these, come on. I'm trying to add text. Okay. Yop, right? Everyone's favorite word. Click on done. And on this one now, I can move the start point of yop till right after hearing. Because that makes sense. Hearing yop. Right. In fact, we should move it this way. Right. Hearing yop, and for some reason, hearing yop is going to make me sad. So we'll see. He, uh, hearing yop. Okay. And then I click on OK. And then when you actually look at the thing, I'm going to say no. I want to save it again privately. See, what I'd like is to be able to back out without having to save it. And there it is. Hearing Yop. Are there any questions? Can you add sound to these videos? Look at that. I asked if there's a question. No, not in this program. But of course, you can now bring the, these videos into whatever little phone base. You can export them or whatever and uh, do them editing wise. Oh, I, you know what? There was one fun, there was another fun thing I wanted to do before I left. So let's do it. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new one from the camera, but we're going to use this mask that I don't even know where it came from. And look, it even seems to find the face. All right, let's see how creepy this looks. Guys, come on, would I steer you wrong? I'm not gonna waste your time with a bunch of useless programs that you'll never use. You'll use this all the time. I want to find... Um, 
Now, some of these some of these top muggers here, they've really some of these folks have really done a nice job, and they really mastered the subtle. Um, of course, I'm, I may or may not be able to find one right now, but um, and it just it makes things just super artsy. Yeah. So I would definitely go in and fine tune this this mouth, right? So disappoint. Now I got well. I don't know why I'm going to tell you even this part, but it says so disappoint. This has been, what you'll see in this app is when you go to this featured and trending, you're going to see the same one cycle over and over and over again. The same animations, maybe on a different face or whatever. And this one, since the day I was in there, that one that says so disappoint. Now, it clearly is supposed to be so disappointed. And in all the repostings of this thing, with a different face or whatever, nobody has fixed it. So disappoint. And now I guess it's just, you just got to leave it. Um, it's a free app. It is a free app. I think there is a, I think there is an upgrade. I think, I think you, there's certain things. I think maybe you can't create until you buy the app. And honestly, I can't remember what it is. The links I provided in the uh, description will get you to the free download. And then, of course, you can also there find whatever the upgrade information is. I'm sure it wasn't more than $3 or anything like that. And I don't, this isn't one that has upsell, upsell, upsell either. I think it's just, you know, you just, if there is a, a cost to it, you pay it once and then that's it. And to me, it's so worth it just to create those profile videos that I know a lot of people don't like because they don't fit into the Bob Doyle from the secret image whatsoever. But you know, yeah, God, I baby. I don't know what. I'm so disappointed that I cannot see who's who has been uh, doing this. Who's sending your, sending the. Um, yeah, I, I'm even refreshing it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Just real quick before I say goodbye, I'm gonna go over here to Facebook and see who's here. Here I am. Well, not many people are here, but Jane was here and Tommy. And Jane and Gatu and Jane and Jane and Gatu and Jane. Hi, Jane. It's been a long time. It's it's nice to have you here. I hope this was interesting to you. Uh, I think this app is super cool, and that's why I decided to feature it on the Aptacular segment, which I'm now ending. Please follow the links, download the thing, play with it. Give yourself some time. It can get a little logistically confusing, but there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with it. And just get creative with the types of pictures you download and play with. And try putting faces on things that don't have faces and see what happens. And, and, and see if you have nightmares. 